as model makers and just makers in general, we all know that model paints are better than craft paints. But why are they better? How much better are they? Is it possible to use these in place of those? We don't know. Let's find out. So for the test, I've chosen just four basic colors. Black, white, blue, red. So we're going to pick out the equivalents paint in the... Uh, this is Vallejo. One of, if not the most popular, hobby paints. We're going to put these to the test. I've set up three different conditions. We've got... This is uh, Sintra. Uh, expanded PVC uh, foam, primed, sanded, and raw, or just unsanded. And we're going, and all of those are masked, so we'll see how well they work with masking. And uh, going to give each one its the best chance to do the best job. So it's not going to be a mixed mix one to one or whatever. Uh, we're going to use the same. Uh, airbrush, we're going to use the same paintbrush, we're going to use the same thinner. So, um, let's, uh, let's get set up and uh, start running some tests. In order to make this as fair a test as possible, we're not going to mix these things exactly ounce for ounce, drop for drop. We're going to mix them to the best consistency for the airbrush I'm using for the test. So, which is a, it's just an old Actually, it's a very inexpensive, just made in Taiwan. No, it's got an HD-130. It's got a 5 millimeter needle in it. Start with black. Set up the conditions for this next part of the test. We've got some, just some wing segments here. And I have primed the two top wing halves with uh, Vallejo Surface Primer. And then I've got the, uh, the underside. And these have been, these are just raw plastic, but they have been washed in hot soapy water. Uh, we're going to use a couple of different brushes and apply some paint and just see how it behaves. Okay, so ready for the results. Starting with the black, the the prime surface, the Vallejo is obviously more even. The uh, craft paint is, did not dry evenly; it started to separate, and was really dramatic on the raw surface. Again, that's just uh, the factory finish, sort of a slick. The masking lines, though, did pretty well on all of them. It didn't run under in too bad. And I think the worst one was actually on the Vallejo side here, but that may have been the tape. This one surprised me a little bit. On the first initial coat on the prime surface, the, uh, the craft paint did better. It wasn't quite as even on the drying, but the differences were negligible. The I know these are hard to see on camera, but you can see the pencil mark up there on how well it covered and the, and the masking lines. But really, other than the texture on the craft paint being slightly not quite as smooth, the results on these two are relatively similar. Um, yeah, I would go as far as to saying that uh, 
um, you could use the craft paint in place of the uh, Vallejo and and get a and get a very similar result for the red the Vallejo covered very well where now it's not quite as evident on this but the the red craft paint separated uh, pretty dramatically I had uh, hit these with an air hair dryer in between coats and the the red just ran all over the place where the Vallejo stayed put this is the sanded surface you can see the masking lines are, are really nice on both of these this one on this was really dramatic this is the raw factory surface you can see where it's really dark up around the top edge there where the paint just beat it up and ran off to the side for the blue both of these were excellent now the craft paint blue I had was a little darker than the Vallejo blue but uh, the coverage on both of these was really nice the masking lines did really well that and then on the sanded surface a similar result except that on the sanded surface the the paint started to run a little bit on the craft side where the Vallejo did not on the raw factory surface the Vallejo did an excellent job now this is kind of where the craft paint lost and you can see where the uh, it, it started to it ran and it puddled, puddled up really easy where the Vallejo just stayed put but uh, the blue on both of these were excellent if you're running on a prime surface uh, and you've the color you want is in the craft paint uh, for this particular blue for these darker ones I would give them a shot you know test them out and see what to see how they do okay so for the uh, for the model pieces uh, on the left top is uh, just un untouched styrene it's been washed on the bottom has been uh, primed with uh, Vallejo primer versus the craft paint on the si same same conditions on the other side and I think you can see a pretty dramatic difference in how they uh, stack up with each other the Vallejo covers better dries more evenly than the craft paint the craft paint tends to be streaky and, and uh, let's see for the for the detail brush again this was a zero brush the plastic on the top and the primed on the bottom the Vallejo again single coat it wasn't trying to uh, I'm sure you could get better results with multiple coats but the black Vallejo versus the craft paint and Vallejo versus craft again the Vallejo did better job with the black uh, the blue also kind of out of the, the Vallejo did much better was uh, the blue was beady uh, it ran left a lot heavy brush strokes where the Vallejo dried much smoother the Vallejo really the Vallejo on the the red Vallejo is I don't know not 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 digging it I would uh, these are these are very similar the the red acrylic uh, the red craft paint versus the red Vallejo the uh, the differences are nominal between the two of them uh, both of them did not cover very well and just were generally not not quality it didn't leave a quality work not quality paint I'm sure paints what it is but didn't leave a, a good didn't leave a good result again these are my techniques my use cases and my conditions uh, your conditions your paint again there's you can tell there's a variation in between even between the paints uh, where the blue Vallejo covers I mean it's opaque it covers really well where the flat red uh, does not the red 
craft paint versus the red Vallejo, the differences were not dramatic. They were there, but they're not super dramatic. The blue was a little more, didn't dry as evenly as the, uh, as the Vallejo did. Wasn't a whole lot of difference between these two. Yes, the Vallejo, across the board, the Vallejo performed better um, uh, if, if, on average. But the craft paint wasn't that far behind in many cases. Black and the red were probably the most dramatic where they wanted to, uh, they did not dry smooth. They wanted to run, uh, they ran very easily, but that could be controlled. You know, you can, you're, you can control that with technique, especially with an airbrush. Still, model paint is better than craft paint, but how much better? You be the judge. Try it out yourself. See what you think. But um, for me, if the uh, craft paint will do the job, I'm going to use it because, you know, the dollar value on this stuff is dramatic. 17 milliliters versus 59 milliliters or 0.57 ounces versus 2 ounces. And the price on this, catch it, uh, depending on the craft store you're at, it's typically $2 or less per bottle, where this is typically around 4 3 to $4 per bottle. So, ounce for ounce, what you're looking, 50 cents an ounce here versus a um, dollar fifty an ounce here, give or take. Check your uh, check your work. What do you expect out of the? What do you expect out of the paint? You know, terrain absolutely would go for this. Um, but again, it's your your results. Your results will vary.